All right, let's get into some recording. All right, this one's called Corporate Jamaica Urge to Develop Wellness Programs. King Art, Minister of Health and Wellness, Dr. Christopher Tufton, is encouraging, a cor encouraging corporate Jamaica to invest in the welfare of employees by promoting health and wellness in the workplace, which will result in enhanced productivity. Quote to quote, I'm issuing a challenge to corporate Jamaica see the employees as the most valuable asset, see to many of those employees as the intellectual force that will drive the competitiveness of and success and therefore deserve the level of investment that is necessary to make them feel motivated and able to do their jobs, Tufton said. He'll speak at the award ceremony for the National Health Fund's uh, NHF Work It Out Weight Loss Challenge at the Spanish Court Hotel in New Kingston thir this past Thursday. The Minister lamented corporate Jamaica has not yet, not yet brought it fully to the government's thrust to promote health and wellness among citizens, especially at the workplace, and call for greater support from employers. Quote, quote, there are thousands of companies in Jamaica who all they care about is that you show up for work, work as hard as you can, leave you leave after you leave work. It doesn't matter to him as until you show up the next day, said, which is true. It's not just Jamaica, to be fair. Tough to suggest that employers consider bringing a doctor once or twice a year to check the health status of his employees and instructed to conduct work with sessions at the workplace at least once a week and provide a healthier menu options for employees. Quote to quote, we have to get the narrative changed, so I added wellness to the ministry's portfolio to get Jamaicans to start taking more responsibility, start engaging in activities that are prevention related, prevention focused, and by doing so, really enjoy better quality of life, he said. Tough said Jamaica has to change the sick profile, which includes one of three Jamaicans being hypertensive, high levels of obesity, and seven of every ten deaths due to health lifestyle related disease, by taking greater responsibility for maintaining personal health. All right, in the article, all right, so basically it's saying that we need, for workplaces, there needs to be more emphasis on employees' health, which is fine. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with that. Uh, I mean, can't fight on this message. Um, which, um, all I can say is that, um, that yeah, the, 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 the credence that a some mind begins with somebody, that's basically what's come to place here, so... I think probably um, what should be done again is that maybe get some health facility for these workplaces that can do that, that can accommodate these health facilities, like some gyms or whatever. I mean, so I'm not really fighting on this message, all right? So that's pretty much what I have to say. So this will go into the state of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Also, um, also check out my YouTube pages, Miles Gusenferen, Miles Productions. All right.